Good afternoon. I'm Dave Percy at the National Weather Service here in Anchorage, Alaska with Sunday's Alaska statewide weather. Thunderstorms uh, broke out across uh, portions of interior Alaska today that brought uh, up to six tenths of an inch of precipitation this afternoon to Caltag. And uh, rainfall of over an inch fell at Fairbanks and soaking rains fell over a swath uh, in the interior down in toward uh, McGrath and the southwest uh, interior areas. Lighter rain fell along the southeast coast, mostly over the central and northern areas, with anywhere from a tenth to a third of an inch falling in the last 24 hours. And showers again fell along the north Gulf Coast with some partial clearing. Out in the Bering Sea, light winds resulted in low clouds and fog, and that will continue tonight with uh, high pressure near St. Matthew Island and virtually no gradient across the area. Winds will be light. Low clouds and fog will be rather widespread. Could be some clearing, though, along the uh, southwest coast and southeast Bering Sea, as well as up over the northern interior ahead of a Arctic front that will be pushing southward. That will bring a uh, chance of rain to the central and western Arctic coast tonight, down to about uh, Point Hope. And a trough will keep it wet and showery over the south-central interior areas, mostly along the Alaska Range into the eastern Tanana Valley. And for Monday, cold front uh, brings chillier temperatures into the uh, north and northwest interior, especially the Arctic coast, and down in through the Bering Strait, with uh, scattered thunderstorms occurring over the Yukon Valley and also the Koyukuk Valley and possibly the Brooks Range. Otherwise, it'll be a variably cloudy day with just a few showers over the central and southern part of the state. Look for some fog and drizzle around Cusquam Bay with a weak trough in that area. No changes anticipated for the Bering Sea. Then on Tuesday, that frontal system will push southward with a 1,004 millibar low developing near Nunavak Island. That will result in light rain from the Yukon Delta across Nunavak Island. That will spread southward to the Perbloffs in the afternoon. And along that frontal boundary, a couple of low centers will produce uh, clouds and areas of rain and showers across the Seward Peninsula and the northern interior into the upper Tanana Valley. And low pressure will make for wet conditions for Kodiak Island, which will spread up into the uh, western North Gulf Coast, Kenai Peninsula area. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Dave Percy.